Hi, welcome back. It's Lionel Yo, Tech Lead and Partner at Westfall. Today, I want to talk about why I do not use a templating syntax for my PHP applications. What am I talking about? I am talking about Blade, I am talking about Twig, I'm talking about any of these templating systems that put PHP in the background. And I'm going to tell you, not do it, okay? I don't know how much more clear I can say that. So let me give you some background about these templating languages. Way back in PHP, about 10, 15 years ago, right? You used to have PHP in the back end and HTML in the front. And what would happen is people would start putting PHP into the front. In fact, the whole page, right? You would see it as mixed up with PHP and HTML. It was a mess. And what happened is that some people had such disgust for this that they said, we don't want to see any PHP in the front. Let's do this templating engine uh, and put it in the front so that you have this weird curly bracket thing. Now, the point about this is that fast forward, it's 2020 now, PHP is sitting a lot in the back end if you use a framework. So you don't see so much PHP appearing in the front end, right? You just basically have those brackets. And the first point about it is PHP is already a templating engine itself. Like if you just want to use it simple, just put the PHP with the, those curly brackets and the equal sign there and you will be happily ever after. No problem on that whatsoever. You can have your templating engine. In fact, the E2 does it perfectly like that. You just put your variables in the render function and they appear in the view. So that's the first point. It is now no more needed to separate PHP and code. The second point, right, is that PHP is, and templating engines have grown and gone so fat that they are equivalent to the PHP. What am I talking about? Once upon a time, people were just displaying scenes have gone from something very simple, just sort of outputting variables. Now they're including some basic form of logic, including if statements, loop statements, uh, form uh, variables and some of this just doesn't make any sense why it should be rendered using a template engine they're starting to get as complicated as the php code itself you're going to have some business logic in there you're going to have some conditionals you're going to have some transformations what's the point of having that in the template engine you just have to learn two separate ways of displaying it and you still get the same problem now a lot of people may argue, right? Like, oh, if this doesn't compile, it'll show a big error on your page. That is true, except it's 2020 and we have rendered pages through frameworks. So we don't have that problem anymore. There's no need to have that separate uh, templating engine and the PHP code. And the final reason, right? Final reason, third reason, is that HTML has grown more powerful. Today, you can put JavaScript and HTML together and they can sort a lot of the logic without having to run to a templating engine. What am I talking about? For example, now you can use HTML5 syntax. Just put the re required in there or you can use validations with regex in HTML itself. I was... So the point is now with JavaScript, Vue.js, HTML5, there's so much more power in the HTML. You do not need the templating engine anymore. So summing this up, do not, you do not have to use PHP templating engines anymore. If you're looking at Twig, Blade and all this kind of stuff, I think they have served their usefulness. I don't use them myself. I don't think they have any efficiency function. And that's the bottom line because the tech lead said so.